Okay, fourth grade, we are reading a story. It's called Brave as a Mountain Lion by Ann Herbert Scott, illustrated by Glow Colson. It's kind of on our same theme as courage. It was snowing hard. Pressing his face against the cold glass of the living room window, Spider could barely see his father's horses crowding against the fence. Soon the road's reservation would be covered with darkness. Spider shivered. Any other night, he would have been hoping his father would reach home before the snow drifted too high to push through. But tonight was different. Tonight, he dreaded his father's coming. In his pocket, Spider could feel two pieces of paper from school. One he wanted to show his father, one he didn't. Not tonight, not ever. Beside him on the couch, his sister Winona was playing with her doll. Lucky kid, thought Spider. Winona was too little to worry about anything, especially school. Just then, Spider saw blinking red lights of the snowplow clearing the road beside their house. Right behind came his father's new blue pickup. Spider sighed. At least dad was home safe. Now the trouble would begin. Winona ran to the back door, but St P Spider stayed on the Spider stayed on the couch waiting. From the kitchen, he could smell dinner cooking, his favorite deer meat. But tonight, he didn't even feel like eating. Soon, he heard the sounds of his father and his brother Will stomping the snow from their boots. Spider's father came in with an armful of mail from the post office. He hung up his hat and jacket on the pegs by the kitchen and stretched out in his favorite chair. So what did you do in school today? He asked Spider. Not much, said Spider, feeling his pocket. Did you bring home any papers? Spider nodded. How did his father always know? Let's take a look, said his father. Spider took the first paper from his pocket. Here's the good one, he said. Spelling? 100%? Every word correct? Good for you, son. But dad, I'm in trouble. Spider shoved the other paper into his father's hand. The teacher wants me to be in the big school spelling bee. Spider's father read out loud, Dear parent, I am pleased to inform you that your son Spider has qualified for the school spelling bee, which will be held next Thursday night. We hope you and your family will attend. Spider's mother and grandmother came in from the kitchen with a platter of deer meat and bowls of beans and corn for dinner. That's a good report, little brother, his grandmother said, smiling. But I won't do it, said Spider. Why not, asked Will. I'm too afraid, said Spider. But you're a brave boy, said his father. Why are you afraid? Dad, said Spider, you have to stand high up on the stage in the gym and all the people look at you. I'm afraid my legs would freeze together and I wouldn't be able to walk. And if I did get up there, no sound would come out when I opened my mouth. It's too scary. Oh, I see, said his father. Spider's mother put her hand on his shoulder. Well, you must be hungry. Let's eat. After dinner, Spider sat by the wood stove doing his homework. Dad, were you ever in a spelling bee? He asked. As a matter of fact, I was. Were you scared? I was very scared. I didn't even want to do it, but then my father told me to pretend I was a brave animal, the strongest, bravest animal I could think of. Then I wasn't afraid anymore. Later, Spider sat up in bed thinking of animals who, went, who weren't afraid of anything. Above his head hung the picture of the mountain lion his dad had painted for him. How about a mountain lion? The king of the beasts. Spider took his flashlight from under his pillow and shined its beam on the face of the great wild creature. Brave as a mountain lion, he said to himself in a, long, in a loud, strong voice. Brave as a mountain lion, he repeated in his mind as he was falling asleep. I'll try to be brave as a mountain lion, he whispered to his father the next morning as he brushed his hair for school. At recess the next day, Spider peeked into the gymnasium. The huge room was empty. He looked up at the mural painting of the Western Shoshone people of long ago. They were brave hunters of deer and antelope and elk, just as his father and his uncles were today. At the far end of the gym was the scoreboard with the school's emblem the eagle. Every Saturday in the winter, Spider and his whole family came to cheer for Will and the basketball team. Those players weren't afraid of anything. 
Then Spider stared up at the stage. That's where the spellers would stand. He could feel his throat tighten and hear his heart thumping, bumpity, 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 bump. How could he ever get up there in front of all the people? Spider ran outside, slamming the gym door behind him. That afternoon, it was still snowing. At home, Spider found his grandmother beating a hat band for his father's birthday. Spider watched her dip her needle into the bowls of red and black and white beads. Grandma, were you ever in a spelling bee? No, I never was, his grandmother answered. Are you thinking much about it? All the time, said Spider. Well, what's the worst part? Being up on the stage with all the people looking at you. Oh, that's easy, said his grandmother. You can be clever, clever as a coyote. The coyote always has some trick to help him out of trouble. When you're up there on the stage, you don't have to look at the people. You can turn your back on them and pretend they aren't even there. In bed that night, Spider pulled the covers over his head. Brave as a mountain lion, clever as a coyote, he kept repeating to himself as he fell asleep. The next morning, Spider scraped a peephole in the ice on his bedroom window. He couldn't see the far mountains for the swirling snow. He smiled as he packed his book bag. If it kept snowing like this, maybe the principal would close school tomorrow. In class, all day, everybody could talk about was the spelling bee. Can we count on you, Spider? Asked Miss Phillips, his teacher. Spider shook his head. Maybe, I haven't made up my mind. Well, you better make up your mind soon, said Miss Phillips. The spelling bee is tomorrow night. After lunch, Spider walked by the gym door, but this time he didn't open it. He didn't have to. He remembered just how everything looked. Scary. When he thought about it, a shiver went all the way down his spine. By the afternoon, the snow had piled in drifts higher than Spider's head. Spider got out a bowl of popcorn and went to the carport to watch Will shoot baskets. Time after time, the ball slipped through the net. Will almost never missed. How about some popcorn for me, Will asked his little brother. Spider brought back another bowl from the kitchen. Are you practicing for the spelling bee, asked Will. I've decided not to be in it, said Spider. I'm going to be brave when I'm bigger. Will nodded. I remember those spelling bees. Were you afraid, asked Spider. I was scared silly, said Will. I was so scared I was afraid I'd wet my pants. Then I learned the secret. What's the secret, asked Spider, to be silent. Silent, asked Spider. What does that do? It keeps you cool. When I have a